I was asked how I became an artist or why. And it, it happened just accidentally, really. Or maybe, maybe like all children, I loved being by myself and being in control and making things with crayons. That's all there was, really. Well, we, I went to art school in the 50s in California. I'm from Southern California. And uh, soon after that, soon after I left art school or, or in the 60s, I came east with my husband, who was also an abstract painter. We found, uh, we found the Delaware Valley. We, lived, we moved to Lambertville. And uh, I started to have jobs and started exhibiting first uh, in the cafe where I was waitressing. Um, incidentally, I did have a degree in art and I did have a teacher's credential. But when I first got here, um, well, when I first got here, the only job I could get was in the women's prison in Clinton. And there I taught the inmates, which was a real eye-opener as far as just being a transplant to the East Coast. Later, I had took all kinds of jobs um, to be, I was raising two boys. And so I lived, I moved to New Hope and taught then at Solbury School for four years. And all, the time, all this time, I kept trying to paint and I kept trying to exhibit, which I did. Um, but I finally, once my kids were grown, <laughs> I was able to have a studio and work. I've been painting for about 40 years, so I've been able to try a lot of things. I don't work, I don't produce great amounts, but I do sell. Um, I don't plan my paintings. They, I, I don't want to know. I can't possibly know what my work will finally be. So there's a lot of trial and error involved. And then through that comes layers because I refuse to keep starting over. I just work over and integrate the different uh, things that happen. Um, I use a lot of aesthetic judgment in terms of what I like and don't like. Uh, my materials are really important. Composition is probably my most difficult thing to achieve because I am working through this, through through the development, not having an idea and expressing it. Um, so I fell in love with texture and that's been a constant probably for several decades now in my work. And through that I use collage. I love to experiment. Uh, I try all kinds of materials. I use brushes, but that's probably the least of it. I use brayers. Uh, I pour paint. I pour if I don't, if a painting is really frustrating to me, I pour over it, pour part of it, just to change it and get me off in another direction. So it's constantly a challenge, constantly fascinating, and very frustrating too. <laughs> so. Uh, this community has been great to me, so I've been able to, to manage, have my life, and still be a painter, which, was, which what I, is what I dreamed of doing from the time I was about four years old. <laughs> so.